Is the granny flat the solution to Australia's housing shortage? Over the next five years, the market will be around 106,000 dwellings short because of a surge in migration, rising home values and a lack of government intervention. But analysts at CoreLogic say across the country's three biggest capitals, there are more than 655,000 suitable sites for a granny flat, offering opportunities for both renters and owners. What was once a modest studio in the backyard or basement is now big business. The humble granny flats had a modern makeover and it's a sign of the times. When we originally started, it was more and more investors. These days, it's multi-generational living. That was the motivation for Wendy Huang, who felt a granny flat was more suitable than assisted living for her parents. Definitely my parents um, love their independence and, yeah, just to have the separation, but close enough. A new report from CoreLogic has pinpointed lots across our country's three most populous states that meet requirements for a secondary dwelling. The most are across Greater Sydney, with high concentrations on the central coast, the northern beaches and Hornsby. Across Greater Melbourne, the Mornington Peninsula has the largest number of suitable blocks, followed by Casey and Monash. In the Sunshine State, Brisbane offers the most opportunity, with Logan and Moreton Bay rounding out the top three areas there. Obviously not all of them, or even, even a large portion of them, will go ahead. But at the very least, this is an opportunity to deliver a fairly fast supply to the marketplace at a time when we know there's a fairly immediate need for more housing supply. Many can be completed in under six months and are generally cheaper than a new built house. Granny flat started at about $135,000, so it's a really good cost effective option. In some areas, planning rules to boost affordable housing mean homeowners can avoid the hassle of submitting a development application if they comply with certain guidelines. But some experts caution granny flats aren't always a good investment. Particularly when it comes time to sell the property. It's more a case of if it suits someone great, they'll keep it and that will work for them. But typically I think it's going to be more of an impingement on their, on their privacy and their quality of of lifestyle. In some cases, homeowners may not recoup their outlay, particularly if the granny flat takes up a significant portion of the backyard. Kathlanders 